Time now for our morning chat. Joining me now is Travis Hilton with Heartland Motorsports Park. Good morning. Good morning. Lots of events coming up this summer. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're already smashed in the middle of the season and it feels like we've been going nonstop. Yeah, talk about the off-season preparations. Yeah, so there's so much to do behind the scenes. Uh, you know, we have about 160 man hours a week just in lawn care, uh, whether it be mowing or weed eating, uh, and that's just taking care of the facility itself. And there's repairs to little things that might have come up over the off-season. You know, the, the winters are so dangerous out here, it's hard to make sure everything after the freezing and then the heat and the freezing. And then now with this wind, you know, there's so much preparation just to get ready for the season to start. Yeah, and we're showing video right now of Country Stampede. It's always a big event, and it's happening this summer, so talk about that. Yeah, we moved it into July, trying to get away from the rain that it seemed to plague the event since its inception. And, yeah. You know, we're, we're really <laughs> excited for that. You know, as we move it to July 14th, 15th, and 16th, and to be able to bring in such the big names that we have, and of course, it seems like no matter what, as soon as Country St Stampede comes up, Kid Rock headlining it on Saturday night's the main topic. Yeah, and of course, like you mentioned, the rain is always a big topic, too. So moving it to the following month, um, is that one of the preparations you guys are making just in case? Absolutely, yeah. And one other benefit we've had from where it was in 2019, for anybody who was there in 2019 that uh, hasn't come out since, the area that's been moved to now, uh, the ground is a lot more compact. It's a lot firmer, so there's a lot okay. less issues, even if we do have some rain. Uh, you know, last year, the main issue that really plagued us was the wind that came in and really messed up some of the canopies that were set up. Yeah. Uh, however, the rain is no longer really a serious issue because of where it's located inside of the property now. Um, you know, so whenever you're thinking about Country Stampede, you see like Walker Hayes and Jake Owen and of course Kid Rock coming out. It's, it's going to be a great show. Absolutely. It always is. And the following month is the Menards NHRA Nationals. So give yes. us details on that. Yeah, and it's really the staple of our facility in, in general. The Menards NHRA Nationals, our great friends at Pet Armor coming in to step up for that event as well. Uh, you know, everybody sees the 330 mile per hour top field dragsters and funny cars and you feel it from miles away, the impact of when these cars launch. And, you know, one of the great opportunities to have for this national event with the Menards NHRA Nationals is the camping. You're able to come out and set up whether it's a tent or you bring in an RV or a motorhome, whatever the case might be, and being able to stay on site for the entirety of the weekend. You know, there's all kinds of great, uh, very uh, inexpensive camping options available for folks to come out and just park in and be part of the party. You know, we're having some uh, discussions right now about bringing in some music and some other entertainment venues and some some ways to kind of lively up the weekend for everybody. So the, that weekend in August, it's going to be one for everyone to come out and enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. Lots of exciting stuff. And we've only touched on a couple events, but there's so much more <laughs> coming up. So yes. give us some details. The, the great thing about our facility, you know, between the, the seven different racing tracks that we have and, and bringing in events like the Country Stampede, we're really trying to make it an entertainment venue. Uh, you know, we're just over 220 events scheduled for this season. Uh, ranging from what's already happened since February later on to the end part of November and you know some of the great special events we have coming up like import face-off so if you're any kind of import vehicle fan uh, you know the Hondas Toyotas and, and everything of that nature uh, they're turned their event it's been coming the last few years it's went from a daytime event now to a nighttime event so they're gonna be running under the lights they're still gonna have all the great cool. things you look to expect for with the drag racing portion they're gonna have a car show a stereo contest they'll be doing some drifting as well uh, it's just a, it's really a well-rounded event for anybody who's into that type of motorsport. Absolutely. So much going on. Just yes. Very exciting. <laughs> Travis, <laughs> yes. thank you for joining us this morning. Absolutely. And for more information, you can head to heartlandmotorsports.us.